In this video, you will see how to set up a custom email account. You can use your name, your organization's name or some other name. This is different from using a regular email account like Gmail or Outlook. We will use free email hosting Zoho Mail which lets anyone to host email accounts up to 5 users for free. So you don't have to pay for anything for the email. You just need a domain name of your choice. You can buy a domain name with reasonable price for, from Namecheap. Find the link for Namecheap in the video description which is my affiliate link. You do not need to pay anything extra, I will get a small commission. If you have a domain name already, I have another video to create custom email accounts and connect with Gmail and Yahoo. This is helpful when you have hosting plan and your hosting provider provides you free email accounts. So let's get started. For this, first you need to open Zoho Mail. If you search for Zoho Mail, you will see this page. Open the page. Here you will get the option sign up for free. If you scroll down the page, you will see there is an option free forever plan. We want to go with this plan. Here you need to fill up your details. So I am filling up my details. Enter your regular email because this is for the signing up to Zoho mail where we want to create the custom email accounts and enter a password and sign up. We have to verify the email account. So let's open our email account here. We have the verification code here. Just copy this and paste this. We are now verified. So what we can do, we can add an existing domain or we can buy a new domain from here. I always prefer to register my domain with Namecheap. So I will uh, connect the external domain. So for this, you have to log into Namecheap.com. Here you can register your domain like with a reasonable price. I already have some domains with this. So I can just log into my account. So let me log in. I need to verify it two factor authentication code. Let's wait for the code on my email. So I have got the code on my phone. So let me put the code here. So I'm now logged in. So under my domain list, I want to set up this domain babyfooters.com. Let's go to the Zoho mail page and click on this add now. And enter your domain name so i need to enter my domain name organization name so let me enter positive geek industry type select industry type so let me select like uh, it related okay add now so now we need to verify the domain so click on this button proceed to domain verification it will ask you to add this uh, txt record on the domain so if we click here and go to manage under the domain advanced dns in here i need to set up the txt record under this host records so just copy this txt name is at the rate or blank so just select txt from here txt record the host name is add and value and click on this tick button so it will take some times to verify the record once it is updated you can click here so if we click here now it says it is not updated yet so we have to wait for a few minutes it says that it can take to 30 minutes to one day so let's wait for a few minutes so in the meantime what we can check if you have a website with this domain name and if you want to use this Zoho mail uh, for your email service, you can where, where we can set up this. So I am using hostinger.in to host my websites. So I have to log in hostinger.in. I'll show you the place where I can configure with the existing websites. So I have to log in with my account here.
I need to verify. I have my code here. You can see this is the uh, dashboard for my website. So if I want to set up the email with this domain for which I have one website, so I need to set up this DNS settings, uh, which we are doing in the name chip, the DNS zone editor. Here we need to add this txt record and all the other records we are going to see in this video. So the process is same. So let's wait for a few moments. You can see that it is now verified. The domain ownership is now verified. So what we want to do, we want to create our first email account with hello at babyfooters.com. You can add more accounts later. So let's create. Setup users, you can add users up to five users. So we will add more users later. What you want to do now, we want to set up password for this account. So change the password and create a new password here. So again, the admin password. So the password is now changed. So proceed to set up groups i don't want to create any group proceed to dns mapping so this is the important settings i need to add this dns to the mx records so just copy and open your advanced dns settings and under mail settings you have to select mx record custom mx here i need to add post add and the value what we have copied and the priority is 10 as mentioned on the Zoho mail setup in we need to add all these three one by one so we have added all the MX records now we have to wait for a few minutes maybe let's take it no it's not yet updated so let's wait for a few minutes yes it is updated now your domain mx records are pointed to zoho so now next thing we have to set up the spf configuration this is the same we have to create a new txt record with this value so copy this advanced dns record under the host records where we have added the txt record we have we have to add a new record here the same txt record txt record host name add the value and automatic and save it again we have to wait for a few minutes maybe to verify this spf record no it's not yet verified let's wait for a few minutes yeah the spf record is now verified you can see here so next go to dkim configuration just click here we need to add a txt record with this value we need to copy that text value first so if we add a new record here txt record and this is the txt value this is different from the other txt values and copy the this value and paste it here and click on this tick button again usually it takes like 5 to 10 minutes but it can take longer depending on the register like i am using namecheap so namecheap is uh, like pretty fast to update the records if we click here it's not yet updated so wait for a few minutes yeah now the dkim record is updated so next go to email migration so if you want to uh, migrate your email from other email providers you can uh, start the procedure here but we don't want to migrate for this video just go to mobile configuration what this suggests if you want to uh, like download the zoho mobile app you can download it from here but we can do this later also so proceed to setup completion go to admin console so this is your admin console skip the tour click anywhere so this is our admin console you can access the admin console with this uh, email account or also with your primary gmail account or email account like with which you have set up the zoho mail 
so this is our admin account by default. you can use this so you, you open in a new incognito tab and open soho mail and sign in here enter your email hello at babyfooters.com enter the password for the email account if you want to turn on uh, like two factor authentication you can do that but we don't want to do this you can verify your mobile number we will do this later so loading to hello at babyfutures.com so this is your uh, email dashboard keep this here you can send mails you can check your inbox you can create different labels different boxes for different email accounts like uh, different purposes you can check all these things here so this is like a normal email account if you want to create more accounts with this domain custom domain you can just create here dashboard domain organization users if you go to users you can add another account here like first name maybe i'm creating with john doe username you can set any username you want john password create a password confirm the password if you want the user to change the password you can do it otherwise you can leave it and so this is the account you can change the settings like first name last name all the things country location and all those things so we have successfully created two email accounts with our custom domain without any hosting plan you can use this email as your primary email because zoho mail provides good support also you can download Soho mail on your computer. Soho mail download. Download for Windows. So if we click over here, you'll we'll also Zoho mail Android or iOS app. Like Zoho mail Android app. You can download it on your Android phone or, or iPhone. Like any other email services you use on your phone or computer. So let's try the Zoho mail desktop version, how this works. Let's install the Zoho mail for our desktop. Sign in with the email account you just created. Let me log in with hello at baby. Enter the password. So here is our email account. We can use this uh, like on a normal email box for our desktop or computer. So let us check if this email works or not. So let us create a new email and send it to our Gmail account. Open our email account. The verification mail you can see we have named it positive geek and this is the test email we just sent zero minutes ago so this works pretty good actually thank you for watching please like share comment and subscribe to the channel